I was left wondering if what I had seen was something physical or just a ghost of a wilderness. Ghosts? I know a few things about such things. From the journal of my great-grandmother, there's possibly another great in there, but I don't have the time to go look at my family tree. She wrote of a seance she once honed. Scratch that, can't have... Poor grammar in my journal. A seance she once held. Yes, that's much better. Where she unleashed in the home of my family. Which ever since a certain war is no longer under our ownership. Has since been... Dear me, what am I writing about? Seance, Spirit Unleashed. Yes. My great-grandmother had unleashed a spirit into the family home. It was the size of a sheep, she wrote. She failed to mention what kind of sheep, for all I know, it could have been the size of a big horn sheep, but then again, they aren't native to Ireland. It was the size of a sheep, smelled like a rotting corpse, and had two gaping horns in its head where eyes should have been. Ray, I hear it. The old family home is still haunted by that thing. No exorcism has ever been successful. Which causes me to wonder if a descendant of the one who unleashed the spirit is the only one who can banish it. Granted, banishing that thing would probably be as easy as banishing these pseudo-werewolves. Sometimes our eyes play tricks on us. Can we be sure what we see is even real? 
That is a question worth asking. Yes, indeed it is a great question worth asking. <laughs>